What's on YouTube is Pete TT back at it with another division video. And I know, I know, I know, I know what you're all going to say. I know the comment section is going to have at least a handful of comments in it saying, Pete, I thought you gave up on the division. What is going on? Does this mean you're coming back to the division? Does it mean you're giving up destiny? It means a whole lot, guys. I will explain over the coming days and weeks what the new plans are. But the division 1.8 is currently in its PTS form. So it is available on PC, Xbox and PlayStation. I have walked away from the division up until now. I had had enough. I was bored. I didn't. I didn't like the way the game was going. I didn't like the updates that were coming out. I didn't like the lack of communication for massive and, and various other things. Okay, so I decided enough was enough. I was going to go and play other games and start enjoying playing games again because that's that, that's that's the bottom line at the end of the day. If you're not enjoying playing a game, then you don't enjoy it. How can I bring you content on a game I don't enjoy playing? However. When 1.8 started to, you know, trickle out information, I got a little bit intrigued. I started watching some videos. As the PTS became available on PC, I watched a couple of streams, and then I started to get very excited, okay? The new Resistance mode is what I've been playing for the last seven and a half hours non-stop. It has been a tremendous amount of fun, and I cannot wait to spend the next couple of days bringing you guys videos and streams of everything that is available in the 1.8 PTS. For this video, however, we are going to focus solely on Resistance and the new Horde mode. Um, that is what I've been playing all day. That's what I have been enjoying. And that is what has drawn me back, okay? I know there are changes to the rogue system in the Dark Zone. I know there are changes to the Underground. That is still one of my most favourite, you know, DLCs up until this point. So I'm definitely looking forward to going and checking that out. There are new exotics in-game. Basically, guys, there is an awful lot to go and do too much for one video. So, like I said, for this video, we are going to concentrate solely on the Horde mode. So what is the horde mode. Basically guys, there is a new area of the map. This is, if I remember right, called the West Side Piers. Now this basically gives us uh, the South Piers and it gives us the North Piers and it gives us several different arenas for the new horde mode. So when it comes to arenas then, currently there is the carrier. We all know that this is one of the US aircraft carriers. I can't remember the name of the aircraft carrier, but I do remember that it is there because <laughs> obviously I've been playing in it today. But I also remember, you know, glitching out of the map all of those uh, years ago now when the division first came out and we were able to wall breach with mobile cover and go explore. I remember heading down to this area, checking that out. So yeah, we have the carrier assault. Next, we have an area called Pier 93. This is more of a shipping container area. It is very fun. It is a lot more kind of close quartery um, when you get into the buildings, whereas the carrier assault can be, you know, very wide and open outdoors. But when you get inside the ship, it is very, very close quarters. And then we have the powerhouse. Now, the powerhouse is not an area I've gone into so far. It is an area I plan on going into tonight on stream. So make sure to come and check me out there, twitch.tv forward slash p3t3tt. I plan on spending a lot of time this week streaming the uh, the 1.8 PTS, so come and say hi. So yeah, three new areas to go and play this new horde mode. How, however, you might be asking, does the horde mode play out? Is it something like Call of Duty Zombies? Is it something like Call of Duty's horde mode or Gears of War horde mode? And it's kind of an accumulation of all of these put together. You basically go into whatever area you choose, be it the carrier, be it Pier 93 or be it the powerhouse, and you have to kill enemy. On doing so, they will drop SHD tech. Now, this SHD tech is very, very important, very much so like it is in Last Stand. You need it to, uh, in the uh, the hall mode, you need it to get your ammo back. Uh, you need it to open up med kit boxes. You need it to open up new routes because, you know, you start off in just a very small room. You have to go out and unlock the doors and open up the new areas as you do in, you know, any horde mode kind of activity. You use the SHD tech for so many different things. It is just honestly amazing. But what amazes me the most is how they have decided to unite the factions. OK, currently in game, as we all know, we have the Rikers, we have the Cleaners, we have the LMB. We've got a, a you know, we've got an LMB incursion. We've got a Cleaners incursion. We've got a Rikers incursion and things like that. And they've always gone against us themselves. 
Well, it would appear right now that Massive have taken the decision to say, right, these factions are not going to defeat the SHD and all the division agents by themselves. So let's put them all together. Let's make these factions say, OK, we all have difference of opinions. We all have different views. We all want to run the city different in this, you know, post-apocalyptic, you know, infectious New York. But we're going to put aside all of our differences. We're going to come together. We're going to bond together and we're going to take out the division agents. <laughs> That's awesome. Like you go through horde mode and not only are you being attacked by Rikers, but you're also being attacked by LMB and cleaners all at the same time. It is truly fantastic and it makes for a very different experience every time you play it. I've run through Carrier now half a dozen times. I've run through Pier 93 half a dozen times. And not once have I played through and it's been exactly the same. And some of the reason for this obviously is the amount of various different routes you can take. And like I said, you know, these routes require SHD tech to unlock them. Um, so you can pick what area you want to go in, you, you know. Depending on the waves and what bosses you get, I don't think I've played it once yet where at the, at the the rounds where the bosses appear, they've been exactly the same time after time. They've always been different, which is very, very good. OK, I played, you know, I played the, the, the same area several times and I've come up against the same bosses, but they've been in different areas. They've been at different points and they come with different kind of modifiers. Um, so, yeah, it, overall, guys, it is just absolutely fantastic. I love it. I honestly didn't think that Massive or The Division would do anything to bring me back. I honestly didn't think I would get so excited about an update, but it is here now. I'm enjoying it, and I want to share that enjoyment with you guys, because as I said before, you know, if you're playing a game and you're not enjoying it, then you can kind of tell that in content, but it also means I don't want to make the content because I'm not enjoying it. Now I have something to play that I enjoy. That means videos all around. That means streams all around. That means super, super exciting times ahead. And like I said, I've not even gone into the dark zone yet and checked out the, the new rogue mechanics. I've not gone into the underground. All the new things that are available in 1.8 that I have still to experience because I am just hooked up at the moment on this new horde mode. Now I want to fire a question off to you guys. Have you played 1.8? Have you played the PTS? Are you enjoying it? What kind of things do you like? Do you not like? Maybe you feel there are some changes that are still needed. I would love to know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below guys. Now, over the coming days, like I said, I plan to drop videos on everything new through 1.8 so you guys can get a bit of a breakdown and an explanation of how they all work and things like that. I will try to look at some of the new exotics and things. Um, so, yeah, a very busy week ahead because we also have Iron Banner for Destiny 2 that I'm still going to be playing and things like that. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That, that was a quick breakdown of the Horde mode available. In, uh, in, in the 1.8 update on the PTS at the moment. I look forward to bringing you plenty more videos. I hope you guys will enjoy seeing Division content. Again, I, um, I'm honestly excited and I, I'm hoping that comes across and you guys will hopefully see that in stream and, and uh, see it by the amount of Division content I actually want to do for you guys because right now I have a notepad and pen next to me with a, a list of so many videos that I want to bring you guys. I haven't felt like this, I think, since the survival DLC came out, which is uh, which is incredible for me. Agents, as always, I thank you for watching. Drop a thumbs up on the video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty more Division videos coming back to the channel, which is awesome. I cannot wait. Guys, have a good night. Thank you very much for watching, and until the next one, I'll catch you all soon.